friends, my name's Joss and welcome back to Squibbles Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my November 2015 TBR. On the agenda for November, we have a big month. I want to read 10 books, which is approximately one book every three days. We'll see how busy it gets in school. Fingers crossed I can finish them all. I am known to be really overzealous. All of my teachers and my coach and my boyfriend always tell me that telling me not to be overzealous is like telling ice cream not to be cold. So hopefully I can finish all 10 books. I think I can do it. I hope I can do it. So it is the end of October right now and I am currently reading The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I'm approximately 10% of the way through and it hasn't really picked up at all. I know that there's something big that's going to happen and I'm just like waiting for it to happen but it hasn't happened yet. I've heard so many good things about the book and I'm really looking forward to keep on reading it. The second book that I'm currently reading is called Unteachable by Leah Rader. It is about a girl who meets a guy at a carnival. She really likes that guy, they have really great chemistry, and it turns out that on the first day of her film class, it's actually her teacher. I haven't gotten really super far with this one either, I think I'm under 10%, but I'm hoping for like some Arya and Mr. Fitz kind of chemistry, because I love Mr. Fitz. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so moving on to books that I'm not currently reading that I do want to read, this is the part where it gets a little ambitious. A lot ambitious. The first book that I have tried to read, unfortunately unsuccessfully, is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I started reading this book on an audiobook when I'm driving to school. My commute is about 45 minutes to school and about 35 minutes back home. In any one given day, that's more than an hour of reading. I feel like this book is going to be a challenge for me because I have a hard time sorting out all the different characters and all their names and, you know, weapons have different names and the kingdom has different names and everything is new and fantastical, which I love, but it's also really, really difficult for me. I'm also a visual learner and not really an audio learner at all. I tend to tune out in class when my profs just go on and on and on and on and on. I don't know if reading an audiobook is really the greatest for me. I'm going to try Six of Crows again on my iPad or I'll go get the book and I'll actually read the physical copy of the book. I just think audiobooks are not for me and that's why I really struggled with this. The next book that I want to read is the first book called The Young Elite in the Young Elite series by Marie Lu. I haven't read Legend at all, which is really unfortunate. I feel like I haven't read any trendy books, like none. Let's give it a try. And the fifth book that I want to read this month is The Diviners by Libba Bray. A few years back I did read A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. It was not the greatest. I would give it maybe three and a half out of five stars, so pretty average but I've heard only good things about the Diviners and the premise of the book is totally different and way more up my alley, way more suspenseful and action-packed, so I'm really looking forward to that. It is like a monster of a book, so hopefully I can get through this one pretty quickly, otherwise I may not make it through the other nine. The next book that I'm going to be reading is called Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and this is yet another one of those books that everyone has read except for me. <laughs> There's apparently a plot twist in the book that's just like, oh my gosh, hang on to your hats, hang on to your seat, hang on to your clothes, everything's gonna fall off. I really, really like books like that. It's also another monster of a book. Oh god, what am I doing? The final kind of like trendier book that everyone's been talking about these days is Illuminae. This one is really not up my alley. This is gonna be a really big stretch for me. I probably have read maybe two sci-fi books in my whole life. And one of them was the host, so I'm not sure if that actually counts as sci-fi. But we're gonna give this one a try. The cover is red and orange, like my new hair. We're gonna try and be optimistic about this. It might be like my portal way into sci-fi. The next two books that I plan on reading, I actually got from this Friends of the Library book sale. There were over 20,000 books among four different little rooms in a community center. On the first day of the book sale, every book was between 50 cents and $1.50. And on the second day of the book sale, it was the rest of the pickings from the first day. However, you could get this massive box of books, which I did, for $5. Oh my goodness, we got 70 books from this book sale. Every month I'm just going to gradually chip away at my humongous box of books. I was in heaven, in heaven at this book sale. 
The two books that I plan on reading that I got at the book sale this month are Three Black Swans by Caroline B. Cooney. The first book that I read from her was The Face on the Milk Carton, and again I read that in about the fourth grade. Fourth grade was a really big reading year for me. I didn't have any friends in the fourth grade. My only friends were books. She was a really influential author to me in elementary school. My love of more suspenseful novels that may involve like death or like missing people blossomed from reading Caroline B. Cooney, so I'm really thankful for her. I had not heard of this book until I saw it at the book sale. It is about two girls who are cousins. They feel like their connection is a stronger family bond than first cousins. They think that they may actually be closer than first cousins. They use a school project about scientific hoaxes to make a video and put it on YouTube and it went viral and these girls started finding out all these different things about their family and about their ties to one another and the story goes on from there. I'm really looking forward to reading this book because it's been forever since I've read a Caroline B. Cooney. The next book that I got from the book sale is The Next Best Thing by Jennifer Weiner. This book doesn't have the greatest ratings on Goodreads. It's I think about like a three and a half out of five stars, which is kind of meh on Goodreads because I'm looking for, you know, four plus stars. I really like Jennifer Weiner's other books. They're kind of a lighter read. They're not super suspenseful. They're not this big like The Diviners is. It's just something that I'm going to read to kind of parse my heavier reads. So I like to space out my heavy, mentally focused, oh my gosh kind of reading with more lighthearted stuff. And the tenth book that I plan on reading this month, if I get to it, is Anne on the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. It is yet another trendy YA book that I have not read and everyone talks about. And who really doesn't like a little YA romance? I definitely do. So that about wraps it up for my November 2015 TBR. If you guys have any questions for me, any comments, any opinions about the books that I mentioned, or any other recommendations, or anything else, Make sure you let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!